BBC exclusive report reveals that Israel had planned retaliation to the Iranian attack and backed out twice this week. Since the drone assault, there has been much deliberation regarding the Israeli response to the Iranian attack on Saturday night. The Israeli security cabinet met multiple times as IDF chief of staff Herzi Halevi and top US officials confirmed that a response will come. The nature of the response was never confirmed. This amid immense international pressure to halt any response out of fear of a wider regional conflict. Now, sources told ABC that on two separate nights this week, Israel prepared and then aborted retaliatory strikes against Iran. Reports indicate that a retaliation won't take place until the Passover holiday had passed. In further news, sources are reporting that the Biden administration would approve a large-scale Rafah operation, a delicate matter that had been previously rejected by the U.S. if Israel would avoid any retaliatory action toward Tehran. Overnight, heavy bombardments occurred in southern Lebanon as Israel retaliated against Hezbollah's attack on Wednesday. 14 IDF soldiers and four civilians were injured when Hezbollah fired two UAV drones and two anti-tank missiles at and around a community center in Arab El Aramche, a Bedouin village in the northern Galil. Mara confirmed that of the wounded, six were seriously wounded, two moderately wounded, and six more lightly injured. In response, IDF fighter jets struck Hezbollah air defense infrastructure north of the city of Baalbek, the infamous Hezbollah stronghold almost 100 kilometers from the Israeli border. Moreover, an IAF aircraft eliminated two Hezbollah terrorists identified in the area of Kfar Kela. 28 Google employees have been fired after protesting a recent deal with Israel in the tech giant's New York office. Anti-Israel activists protested the $1.2 billion contract with the Israeli government by occupying the office in New York City and Sunnyvale for several hours on Tuesday. Protesters were arrested by New York police officers after refusing to leave Google Cloud CEO Thomas Karayan's office for almost 10 hours. All involved protesters were arrested and put on administrative leave, according to a Google spokesperson. Google Vice President of Global Security Chris Rakow was quoted saying, Behavior like this has no place in our workplace, and we will not tolerate it. Rakow added, It clearly violates multiple policies that all employees must adhere to, including our code of conduct and policy on harassment, discrimination, retaliation, standards of conduct, and workplace concerns. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative, available on the web, Android, and Apple.